Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Packer Universe podcast. This is the first takeaway with Tay and Ren. We just watched the Green Bay Packers route the Chicago Bears down in Chicago in week one of the 2023 season. I've got Ren on the horn today. Ren, we just saw the official deed transfer from Aaron Rodgers to Jordan Love as the Packers pretty much dominate the Bears in the home opener, which was, I think, somewhat of a, a surprise here. I didn't think we would we would it would happen like this. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise, and we welcome it, I'm sure. And uh, it was uh, it kind of turned into a really fun game for the Packers fans, and I'm sure everyone out there in Packer Universe enjoyed this win. I'm sure you did too, Ren. But Ren, what was your first takeaway? Well, for sure, Tay. I mean, that kind of win with uh, you know going away in the fourth quarter, Wayne calling the dagger. I don't know how much time was was left after the <laughs> Quay Walker pick six, but he daggered it. At that time, it's certainly a win of that magnitude was not on my bingo card. Week one in no. the first uh, game of the true Jordan Love era. So, you know, it was a pretty fantastic feeling watching this thing uh, just coalesce into a, another Bears beatdown today. Uh, frankly, the Bears still suck, clearly. Um, <laughs> yes. I know, I, I, I know, uh, Asian 69, a la AK. David Bakhtiari was uh, razzing the Bears fans on the sideline, telling them they <laughs> were still being owned by the Packers, that we still own you. So David was uh, having fun with that. But, man, uh, I hope Joey is still, you know, going to be open to a friendship with us. I did leave, I, I, I did leave him alone uh, because I know if it was turned around, I certainly wouldn't want to take any guff today because I'm sure he's feeling pretty down in uh, Chicago land there with the bears performance. Uh, but it was kind of one of those things from the start to, um, you know, the bears go for it on fourth down kind of gutsy call and it doesn't happen. You know, Jordan leads a nice little drive down the field. They score a touchdown and you're like, okay, um, he's got us just like we saw in the preseason, he's got his feet under him. You're feeling good about it. Um, you know, the bears go down, they get a field goal. Things are already getting chippy on the sidelines. You know, Jair hits, fields in play and you know i know the old packer lucas patrick gets gets uh pretty mad about it um bears drove for another field goal the the d early was not great but they start stiffening up a little bit um at the end of that second field goal he saw van ness get his first uh i believe sack in the nfl yep um you know and hey the two minute tay they don't have a lot of time in the two minute but the two minute just gets enough yards for hey a 52 Anders Carlson field goal. Of say, course, hey, of course. The the the, the kicker was 100 percent yep. on the day yep. with with those extra points and yeah, know, and, and the field goals. So you got to give it to the kid. That was that was awesome. And then you know the second half they open they get that huge. Remember this 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 Forte was 10 to six at halftime. Yep, 10 to six. This was a kind of a dog fight, like you predicted. Yeah. Low scoring game. And tail of tail of two halves, man. Um, they open with this huge dump off pass to Showtime, which later leads to a touchdown by him a few plays later. Um, and then, you know, they stop the Bears and Jaden Reed has a kind of pretty just skirt in the sidelines punt return. Yep. Um and they end up not getting out of that, getting anything out of that, unfortunately. But then uh, you know. Throughout the course of the game, a, a player I saw play his ass off, Devontae Wyatt, was in on a, a lot of plays. He was just terrorizing Justin Fields. Um, Rasul Douglas was everywhere. And, and I got to surprisingly say, really happy to hear and see Savage making good plays out there, sure yeah. tackles. Um, he had Darnell Savage had a good game today. Um, I'll be interested in these grades when they come out um, from people that do it really well and those, those plus minus grades. But uh, here Jones had, had a half, man. Uh, unfortunately, you know, they, they hit that, that 35-yard uh, catch and touchdown for, for him, and he pulls up tight afterwards. Thankfully, he seemed pretty, you know, jovial on the sidelines after he was getting worked on. So they, they obviously pulled him the rest of the game. Kenny Clark with that big force fumble, I don't think anything came out of that. But then the Bears go down, they score that touchdown, get that two-point. You start to go, hmm, 
I'm a little worried, but the Packers straight up, they come and answer, Tay. That's a thing. You, you got punched in the mouth. They come back. They answer right away. Um, and they get that kind of off-schedule play to Musgrave. And then he throws that beautiful back shoulder catch to Romeo Dobbs, uh, leading a touchdown, I think, a play or two later. And then, yeah, like I said, Quay Walker, that, that dagger, pick six. I saw guys like Carl Brooks get his first career NFL sack with the rookie there. There are so many fun things to take away. I, I think the defense collectively, Tay, they, they played faster. They played more like a unit, just, just togetherness, a lot more flying in the football. I really liked what I saw out of the defense in the second half. Obviously, the offense did some nice things. Jordan just did hey, everything Jordan, about right. Yeah. You know, just wasn't like blow you off the charts with his, with his completion percentage, but, you know, the quarterback rating in the 120s, you know, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Um, I know he was the first guy. A lot of guys are tweeting out out there, you know, at the end of that game before we get to tonight and tomorrow with three touchdowns uh, as a quarterback this NFL season. Um, so kudos to Jordan leading his team, leading him well, and getting that first dub as the leader of the pack, man. What, what do you think it's a – when you watch this thing, it was just a fun watch. Crushing the Bears is just music to all – Packer universe's ears, and it was just a nice way to start the 23 campaign. <laughs> Unbelievable start. I don't think anyone predicted this type of game for the Packers, especially a dominating win, but that's kind of what it ended up to be, and it just feels so good. Uh, you know, we were, you know, hesitant to kind of like determine how the Packers were going to do this year. And I think um, everyone in Packer Universe now can be like, oh, yeah, you know, we have potential now. And, we, you know, we routed the Bears and we had a really good game down there in the opening uh, season game. So you got to feel pretty good. But let's, you know, let's hold back everything, you know, like expectations wise. And let's just see how this plant pans out. But the Packers, for me, they looked controlled. They looked like they they stuck to their planned game plan. And they didn't get too rattled. Uh, they, I, I felt like they were, they were contr- like I said before, controlled. I think they, they didn't get outside of the box. They didn't get outside. You know, sometimes you get a little heated there, um, you know, with some fights and some pushing and shoving, but that's about it. Like, as, as far as the offense goes, they kind of, like, I think they did a really good job of staying in their lane and just doing what Lafleur wanted them to do. You know, uh, Jordan Love did a great job of, of, of executing – um, pretty much everything he had to. I mean, you know, a couple things here and there, but he played a really good game. Um, I, I think the game was pretty much done halfway through the third quarter, Ren, when Aaron punched in that that touchdown there at 10-23 in the, left in the third uh, to make it 17-6. Um, and then, you know, the game was pretty much out of reach then when 33 gets the ball and runs that uh, huge touchdown in. Uh, I think that was on fourth down, wasn't it? Um, and it was, okay. and I think like, like even that, those, those two, those two TDs by Aaron Jones, really, that was it, that the game was over. I mean, yeah, you had this little danger of them coming back, but you know, the, the bears didn't throw a, a touchdown until that Mooney touchdown, uh, with, uh, one minute left in the, in, in the third quarter. So, uh, the bears were down and out. Um, and they, you know, they had what, two field goals up until almost the fourth quarter. So, uh, it was definitely um, it was it was kind of like neck and neck for a little while until um, the the Packers just opened up and then the defense pounced you know and and he loved to see that this is what we kind of expected is the defense to kind of step up take care of business they had you know the the two turnovers awesome job they that helped out with morale that helped out with uh, putting less pressure on the offense uh, not that they needed it at that point but uh, now when you go into next week and the week after you're gonna you're gonna kind of like uh, you know, hang your hat on this and uh, look back and say, okay, the defense, I think they got our back here. Uh, as long as the offense can take care of business, um, I think we should be okay. But uh, uh, the only thing I like question is like, um, you know, are, are the bears a good team, right? Like we, we thought they were kind of average sort of like we think the Packers are. So, you know, is this just an average or now below average team that we just kind of uh, kicked in the butt? So when we face a harder opponent, are we going to have a difficult time? Are we going to struggle? That's my question mark. It's like, uh, I don't really know who the Bears are exactly. So does that mean we don't know who the Packers are? I, yeah, I think there's some question marks still 
Um, but uh, obviously there's some work needs to be done with the Packers. They, I think they executed pretty well tonight. Um, I'm very, very pleased with the win. And uh, God, it feels so good to beat the Bears in their house week one, just to set the tone for this this whole season. I think that's what they did today. They said, hey, hey, you know, you guys are you guys counted us out. You guys thought we were going to be on the bottom of the NFC North. Well, uh, 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 hold on a second. Things aren't written in stone, so watch out. And um, I, I, Dobbs, I I have him on my fantasy league, and I took him out before the game because I didn't start him because I I didn't know how much they were going to use. Um, Romeo and I was completely wrong he was in there for a lot of the game they used him they needed him and he came through so props to Romeo for getting out there and and just balling out two touchdowns you know clutch catches uh we needed that confidence there at the wide receiver room we had it without Watson so when we get Watson back man look out I'm I'm gonna enjoy this wide receiver uh uh action that I think they can bring to the table so it's gonna be a lot of fun to see uh, you know, love get protected back there in the pocket enough to throw to these guys. And we're going to see maybe some, some fireworks this year. Yeah. I think at times we will. I mean, obviously like we talked about with Joey on the podcast, today, I mean, it's going to be in- incomplete. We're going to find out more week to week, week with this football team. And you're right. I mean, the bears were, you know, the worst team in the NFL last year, they're three and 14 and suddenly they're not taking a jump three and 14 to a 12 and five football team. There's not, um, nobody does that. And, um, they got a lot of work to do in Chicago, clearly. Um, but thank goodness that Romeo was a go to because uh, I don't know how much his offense could have done without them there. It would have really limited, you know, looks and different things they could have done. So it could have been a much different game. Um, not having him out there is obviously one of that one of Jordan's most reliable targets and that connectivity he and he and Jordan have uh, in the off season and having worked out so much together. So. Uh, it was a, it was a great thing to have him there. And, and we knew he sat out the last preseason game. Um, so he had a lot of time to, to get that hammy right. And, and clearly it was, and um, didn't see anything there. The other piece, you know, the, they seem to have escaped any real major scares from injury in this game with, with Jaden Reed, with Aaron Jones. Um, you know, the, there's, there'll be a concern a little bit there with Quay Walker. He did get hit pretty hard when he went in the end zone, left the game with a concussion protocol, but um, it seems for the most part, um, they came out pretty clean from the game with regards to any major injuries. And uh, I know the Ravens, I think they lost their running back today with the, yep. with an AC, ACL. So um, you're just always thankful when you come out and nothing, nothing really big happened. And, you know, you head to Atlanta next week and another team that's trying to find themselves. And, and you hope that you're trying to find yourself and, and you can get another dub uh, next Sunday. That's right. And, you know, like you said, Ren, I just want to highlight that um, there was a there were a lot of great fun plays today. So do yourself a favor and enjoy this win. Go back and watch the highlights, you know, even from Jordan Love to Aaron Jones, you know, even guys like Toure got involved, Musgrave, uh, you know, then defensively Devon Wyatt and um, uh, Quay, Devontae Wyatt. Devont, sorry, Devontae Wyatt, uh, Quay Walker. Um, you know, all those guys had a lot of fun and made some great plays today. So go watch the highlights. Um, you know, I, I know I'm going to, I'm going to relish in this and enjoy every minute of this before next week. But, um, yeah, join us, uh, you know, every week, midweek for our normal podcast, Packer universe podcast, uh, go to our website, packeruniverse.com. Follow us on social media, subscribe to the podcast if you haven't. And we really appreciate your support. Ren, thanks for joining me on this first takeaway of the season hope to have many more uh any last thoughts not really today it's the first takeaway of the first game of the jordan love era and what a hell of a way to start it with a dub against the bears today the bears still suck <laughs>